Hello and welcome to another Autodesk PLM 360 tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to cover customizing the default applications. So step one, let's log in as somebody with administrative privileges. First let's take a look at what we can customize about the system. PLM 360 ships with a number of default applications. All of these are in here as suggestions, mere guidance on what you could actually use. So for instance under procurement, um, if you don't have a uh, need for a supplier's workspace, well we can simply turn that off. Uh, request for quote, maybe we don't use it. Warranty recovery might not be something that you do. So all of these are me meant as a, uh, a, a guide. You don't have to use them. But if you do find that you want to use certain things like tasks, I think just about every company in every industry can appreciate the idea of tasks. We can go and take a look at, well, what are the tasks inside of the system look like? So an examination of the workspace and just one of the records in the workspace shows that we have a number of tabs across the top. And these tabs change, and each one of the tabs has a, has a different role in the workspace. So regarding each one of these tabs, these have different and unique names. If you go over to another workspace, you'll note that the Notes tab, this is technically the Grid tab, might be called something different. So the first thing to talk about is the fact that we can actually change the name of these to match whatever your company process is. Task Details. This is the Item Details tab. Inside of this tab, it's your, your General tab. It's your first page that's greeted to you when you go to the particular item, and it'll always be the first tab that appears in a workspace. Notes. Notes is uh, indicative of a, a grid tab. And inside of this tab, uh, provided we have the rights and the correct workflow state, we can enter multiple rows. And this is the tab that is going to be more like uh, Excel in terms of adding a row and having standard columns across the top. The Attachments tab allows you to attach other uh, influence or documents outside of the system to this particular task. So if you had a PDF, if you had a Word doc, something that you wanted to attach right to this record, we could. Milestones. Milestones are going to show you the, uh, the projected milestones. Uh, did we reach the event, the target date, uh, and essentially the, the workflow progress. These later on will roll up into project management. The workflow actions tab is where we actually push it through its various workflow stages. And finally, the change log. Think of this as your history tab. So the change log is going to show you uh, all of the history and all the changes that were made to it. It's uh, certainly something for at least administrators, maybe uh, project leaders. Now let's go back to the first tab, task details. This is really the item details tab. Looking at this, we can see that this initial tab is broken down by sections. We're going to examine how we can go in uh, add different sections, even add other fields to this record. Now keep in mind that modifying that will modify uh, this record, although it's already closed. It'll also modify all records going forward. So to do that, make sure that you are logged in with administrative rights. Come to Administration and Setup. So here you are back in the administrative area. Now as a best practice, I suggest using the administration. So we have the administration, whether you're working with users, groups and roles, or setup, um, have a separate tab open. So if you're running Internet Explorer, Chrome, uh, Firefox, have multiple tabs open. That way we can come back here, make changes to the workspace, and then go back out to the front, refresh, and, and see the, the changes. If that's not right, we can come back here. Otherwise, we could easily just come down here to set up and I can get back to tasks just by clicking around but just a little bit of a best practice that uh, that's really aimed at administrators so onward down to the workspace in question this is a list of all the workspaces that we have inside of the system and down at the bottom we see tasks. Tasks is a basic workspace with workflow. That means that it is a workspace that exists for uh, for the purpose of containing data, 
containing as many tabs as necessary, and it's also driven by a workflow, something that we'll examine in a later tutorial. In this case, we want to take the tasks. We're saying that that workspace is good, however, I'd like to change a few things about it. So the first thing, we mentioned that the tab names up at the top are something that we have some control over. So I could actually revert. When you come into tab names, you're going to see all the possible tabs in the system, even if they don't make logical sense. So for instance, tasks does not really have a bill of materials. We don't have this turned on under roles and permissions. So, okay, we can leave it alone. But up here, task details, we can see we can revert it to item details. Or what if we just want to call this the general tab? All right. And when we come back out to the front and take a look at tasks next time, we'll see that the tab has been renamed to general. So click on save and we'll take a look at this a little bit later.